but um, but to be to be precise, you know, the, uh, the, because it's a curve. It's like a an asymptotic curve, right. so that the uh, slope uh, becomes very very slow at the at the end of the curve. So therefore, but it, it never touches actually touches the number twenty one. So the final, the final, the the, the, the final, like the, the minimum unit uh, that is that Bitcoin is divisible in is called a satoshi. So, but you can say that the final satoshi will never be found. <laughs> because it's totally abstract. It, yeah, it will never touch, and the actual twenty one will never be reached. Right. It it just becomes so slow that. It tends to the um, of course you bought some bitcoins early on, as I said. Uh, Paul Krugman wrote a piece last week, really criticizing Bitcoin uh, in two areas. One, he just says it doesn't really have any value. The other is, uh, which is more disturbing for a lot of people when they hear about this, is that it's anonymous and can be used for drug dealing and gun running and all that kind of stuff. Let's take up the first question, uh, that it doesn't have a, a lot of value. Oh, the matter, the, the question of value. Uh, well, the question of value has been, has been like, it's, it's uh, it comes again and again in Bitcoin. Uh, and it, it's interesting because it has made a lot of people like kind of question things that they would never have questioned before, which is okay. So where, why does why does the dollar have value, and then why does the gold have value? And it's all um, ultimately because of an agreement. So then the, the question becomes okay, but then why uh, we usually agree on things that have value. Which, which would be the uh, the, Krug, the Krugman argument, which is uh, uh, he values the state, uh, and it's an ideological thing, and that that's, But I well, I don't really want to go into the ideological debate of whether the state or not the state. But well, but uh, just quickly, think, just quickly, what you mean here is he has a Keynesian view of. Economics. Yeah. So right now there should be a Keynesian bailout of the economic system, and he, he's really thinking in larger structures. And I happen to agree with that. But for the value of bitcoins, the value is in the psychology of people who want to accept it, right? But I'm not sure that I wouldn't say that completely. Really, I I think that well, when you think about it, you know, in very mercantilistic terms, you could say that uh, just as uh, a, 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 a company, a corporation that, like Swift or PayPal have value because they provide a, a convenience to people which is transferring money from uh, different countries. Um, that that those, those are valuable companies. That um, you can buy stock on those companies, and they, uh, and if, if you get, if you buy stock, if someone gives you as a gift stock in PayPal, in the PayPal company, it has value, and they don't have anything else than a service. That's what they provide. And the thing is that Bitcoin provides these services that Swift and PayPal provide, but. Uh, orders of magnitude better because they do because it's done uh, with no fees because it's done instantaneously because it's done uh, without censorship because it's available in, instantly anywhere in the world because um, it's uh, it, 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 it actually gives full autonomy to the user and it's um, not, not giving, and it's actually not making a profit for the company. Uh, so it's actually peer-to-peer. -peer. It, it creates kind of a commons for the transfer of value 
and neither is dealt with value. That's, so that's exactly if, right. If, if, if Krugman says that uh, Bitcoin doesn't have any value, then he would have to agree that the SWIFT doesn't have any value either. And, well, he knows that SWIFT has value. And eBay and so on. But I'm talking, I'm using SWIFT and eBay specifically because they provide a similar service. Sure. And this or you mean PayPal? Dollar. You mean PayPal? Uh, PayPal. PayPal. PayPal is a multi-billion dollar company. Multi-billion dollar company? Is transfer money. They don't, they, they are not a state. They don't have any of the properties that Krugman, Krugman um, constructed being necessary to provide them. Yeah, and SWIFT, for people that are listening, is are just the numbers at the bottom of your check. It's a routing code to send money across the country or internationally. Uh, and of but course... By, uh, by, uh, by, uh, by a company called SWIFT. By SWIFT, right. In the case of uh, Bitcoin, what we have here is a true peer-to-peer -peer interaction. There's not a corporate structure. Uh, it's uh, exchange uh, by peers that are... Uh, adults that can make decisions about exchanging money or services. Um, I had another question to ask you about uh, drug running and guns. Now this will scare away anyone from this kind of currency or something new. Why is this a fallacy? Well, the thing is that the real the real currency that is used for for 99% of the drug trade around the world and for arms trade around the world is the dollar. And specifically, uh, much in a, in, a, in a large proportion, the $100 bill. The $100 bill is the standard for drug running or guns because it's easy to carry. It's fairly valuable, but it doesn't make, uh, it doesn't draw attention, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it has a lot of, and, uh, yeah, it, it uh, conveys significant value in a very, in a very anonymous way. All those, all those things that they, that they use, I think that they are strawmen, strawmen that they use, that are, are being used in the media. Uh, basically, well, for two reasons, because they are, um, they are kind of the kind of the things that media likes to report about, because they're like have a sens sensationalist well, side, drugs and guns. Well, by that argument, then we could call for the banning of the hundred dollar bill, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so you, want, you want to combat, uh, <laughs> undermine the drug trade around the world? then you should take uh, the, the $100 bill out of circulation. That would be a much better strategy. Okay, so, let's... And, and, and drugs, um, drugs and guns are not, by any means, the, the more, the more, the focus of the Bitcoin economy. Right, so, well, let, let's talk about this because to get a, it's not anonymous. To get a Bitcoin, uh, account. You have to give your picture, your passport, and a bill or something from your bank of who you are, and they all have to match up. That's not yeah, anonymous. No, no, no. That that is that is not the case. Well, to get a Bitcoin account, you don't need to. You, you can do it in complete anonymity. Oh, you can, because we we yeah. had, we had to do the the other route. Yeah, but that is to get a Mountlox account. Which is uh, which is an exchange ah, uh, okay. a company dedicated to provide the service of exchanging uh, Bitcoin to other currency. So they they set up this company on top of the Bitcoin protocol as a complementary service. Uh, some entrepreneurs in Japan they they decided to start a company, and anyone can start such a company, but uh, but for to get a Bitcoin account, you don't you don't need. I guess that the only thing that you need is to provide a pass to, to come up with a password. No, no, not even that. Uh, you will get a password. You can do it in complete anonymity using Tor. The Tor uh, 
proxy software, mm -hmm. or, uh, and you can do it with complete anonymity. How do you? How would you cash in the money to get the money back? It has to go into an account. Well, you can do it. You can do it in many ways. You can do it in person, for example. You can choose to meet with someone in person. I see. And they, you can give, transfer the bitcoins, and they can give you cash. So you could launder. You could. You could really launder money this way. This. So this is Krugman's concern, which he's correct then. Uh, yeah, well, it is possible, yes. Okay. Sure. But it's also possible to launder money using a uh, Barclays Bank of England and sure, City sure. Bank. And, you know, so, I mean, uh, I guess, I, what, I, what I think is that it's more uh, ideological, it's more like a, an ideological stance uh, of I guess Keynesians uh, against libertarians, and it's more like an ideological stance of principle, because Bitcoin, because the Keynesian idea is that the state needs to to issue the money. So it's uh, it's more sensationalized. I mean, these things can happen, but it's sensationalized. You, yeah, you've answered the main questions I think that people have. Um, one is value, the other is, uh, you know, kind of the dark side to the to any currency. Uh, let's look at some of the more interesting things that you can do with Bitcoin. Uh, for one thing, investors are investing and making a lot of money, uh, like they did three weeks ago. Some people lost a lot of money. Some people, you know, uh, well, there's kind of a little bit of a comedy where your friend was waiting for it to go to a million dollars or something and then it dropped down or whatever. So yeah. people are having some fun with it. Uh, you can use, use it to go on vacation, to get food. Talk about uh, some of this uh, fun that people are having, yeah. I guess you would say. With... Well, I don't know. Um, you could go on, uh, on, on there is a Bitcoin wiki. Where, where you can find um, a directory of, of services that it's growing all the time, that gets, uh, are starting to be uh, decided to accept with the Bitcoin. So you get, like, starting from financial services, so uh, as we were talking, currency exchanges, um, Equities, options, future, forex, and you can have uh, escrow services. There's a lot of uh, uh, internet service providers that uh, accept Bitcoin, uh, hosting providers, VPN, uh, email, voice over IP providers like Skype competitors, uh, web design, a lot of Especially if, if you're dealing with digital goods, there is a lot of, like, that, that, that's a very hot uh, sector for, for Bitcoin acceptance. Um, but then there's also all sorts of uh, um, other, other kinds of projects, like you can buy the stores that sell, that sell you uh, toys, uh, games, outdoor equipment, Books, music. Um, there are there are option sites like uh, sort of like eBay. There are classified places for classified where you can offer your stuff for pricing. Um, well, this is beginning to sound like sound like eBay. There's an eBay. There's, there's a place called Bitmeat. Bitmeat. Okay. Uh, called uh, that that is an eBay clone, mm -hmm. and it's like it's growing. Rapidly, there's a lot of products in every in every store in every kind of uh, category that you can think of, and uh, there is a Bitcoin store where you can find all like 500,000 electronics products that you can buy Bitcoin 